How important is it for us to have a voice? Is that important? Some people are born not able to speak. They can't speak. They can't talk. They can make like sound, oh, 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 like that, maybe, maybe. But how important is it for us when we consider that nobody would understand us at all? We can't even do sign language, let's say. Can't even do sign language. And I want to give you an example of a real person. So we're not just making up a story. A person that we all know, and most of us love him too, Ahmadidat. Ahmadidat. He was a great speaker, yeah? Of course. He did wonderful things with his voice. But he spent the last nine years of his life totally and completely paralyzed except for his eyes. His son Yusuf was the one who actually developed the conversation between him and the rest of the world. He would put certain words on a tablet and show it to his father. And then his father would either blink so, uh, like several times or blink once. It just had different signals back and forth. And from those signals, the very last video made of Ahmadidat was for us. And I'm saying us because we were with Dr. Zachar Knight, and he was telling Dr. Zachar Knight that you are DDAT plus. Now, we're trusting the translation of all of that on his son Yusuf, of course. By the way, I don't know if you know this side story, but his son Yusuf was murdered. And they never caught the people who did it. But it was probably, most likely, Muslims who didn't like the preaching of his father and him. And by the way, Yusuf was also an amazing person. I met them and really top-notch people, really 